this turns into a kickboxing match tonight. Most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 228 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like to draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent. Whoa! Oh, now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's going high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big knee lands there. opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, big punch land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got the tie clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. It didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. My goodness! All right, single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Down it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked right now. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Got the single collar tie. Oh, what a punch. It's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. 
And there comes the separation now. Just misses there with the left. A single tie there. Scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Right hand on point. 20 seconds to go. And he landed the right hand there. And he oh, comes nice through knee. with a big knee. Oh! Slips the punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Round two underway. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big ball crunch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, how about the head movement? Flips his head off the center line and then rips back. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lance with the right hand. Straight right hand, no good. Liver kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful strike. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Just a slip there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Back and forth we go. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Lands to the body there. I mean, this guy is really focused. Oh! oh. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Man, is he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Side of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your 
your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, now. straight right. Single collar tie now. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Right hand punch the clinch. He lands a big knee to the body. Punch over the top. Oh. <laughs> big leg kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Still on it. Redness on the right side of his body. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands the ground and pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Body kick is blocked. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. So here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Nice punch there. How about that shin? Look at the turtle in that kick. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Big diving punch lands. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Let's go! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go and finish this fight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! Back to the feet. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or not. What a sweep. Came up inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed.
kick lands. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. That one's coming in. Nice strike. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, collar tie. Back and forth we go! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done, he's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds on the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the third. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style.